Epistle One of An Essay on Man. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Martin Geeson. An Essay on Man by Alexander Pope. Epistle One Of the Nature and State of Man with Respect to the Universe. Awake, my St. John, leave all meaner things to low ambition and the pride of kings. Let us, since life can little more supply than just to look about us and to die, expatiate free o'er all this scene of man, a mighty maze, but not without a plan a wild where weeds and flowers promiscuous shoot or garden tempting with forbidden fruit together let us beat this ample field try what the open what the covert yield the latent tracks the giddy heights explore of all who blindly creep or sightless soar i nature's walks shoot folly as it flies and catch the manners living as they rise laugh where we must be candid where we can but vindicate the ways of god to man say first of god above or man below what can we reason but from what we know of man what see we but his station here from which to reason or to which refer through worlds unnumbered though the god be known tis ours to trace him only in our own he who through vast immensity can pierce see worlds on worlds compose one universe observe how system into system runs what other planets circle other suns what varied being peoples every star may tell why heaven has made us as we are but of this frame the bearings and the ties the strong connections nice dependencies gradations just has thy pervading soul looked through or can a part contain the whole is the great chain that draws all to agree and drawn supports upheld by god or thee presumptuous man the reason wouldst thou find why formed so weak so little and so blind first if thou canst the harder reason guess why formed no weaker blinder and no less ask of thy mother earth why oaks are made taller or stronger than the weeds they shade or ask of yonder argent fields above why jove's satellites are less than jove of systems possible if tis confessed that wisdom infinite must form the best where all must full or not coherent be and all that rises rise in due degree then in the scale of reasoning life tis plain there must be somewhere such a rank as man and all the question wrangle e'er so long is only this if god has placed him wrong respecting man whatever wrong we call may must be right as relative to all in human works though laboured on with pain a thousand movements scarce one purpose gain in gods one single can its end produce yet serves to second to some other use so man who here seems principle alone perhaps acts second to some sphere unknown touches some wheel or verges to some goal tis but a part we see and not a whole when the proud steed shall know why man restrains his fiery course 
or drives him o'er the plains when the dull ox why now he breaks the clod is now a victim and now egypt's god then shall man's pride and dullness comprehend his actions passions beings use and end why doing suffering checked impelled and why this hour a slave the next a deity then say not man's imperfect heaven in fault say rather man's as perfect as he ought his knowledge measured to his state and place his time a moment and a point his space if to be perfect in a certain sphere what matter soon or late or here or there the blest to-day is as completely so as who began a thousand years ago heaven from all creatures hides the book of fate all but the page prescribed their present state from brutes what men from men what spirits know or who could suffer being here below the lamb thy riot dooms to bleed to-day had he thy reason would he skip and play pleased to the last he crops the flowery food and licks the hand just raised to shed his blood o oh, blindness to the future kindly given that each may fill the circle marked by heaven who sees with equal eye as god of all a hero perish or a sparrow fall atoms or systems into ruin hurled and now a bubble burst and now a world hope humbly then with trembling pinions soar wait the great teacher death and god adore what future bliss he gives not thee to know but gives that hope to be thy blessing now hope springs eternal in the human breast man never is but always to be blest the soul uneasy and confined from home rests and expatiates in a life to come lo the poor indian whose untutored mind sees god in clouds or hears him in the wind his soul proud science never taught to stray far as the solar walk or milky way yet simple nature to his hope has given behind the cloud-topped hill an humbler heaven some safer world in depths of woods embraced some happier island in the watery waste where slaves once more their native land behold no fiends torment no christians thirst for gold to be contents his natural desire he asks no angel's wing no seraph's fire but thinks admitted to that equal sky his faithful dog shall bear him company go wiser thou and in thy scale of sense weigh thy opinion against providence call imperfection what thou fanciest such say here he gives too little there too much destroy all creatures for thy sport or gust yet cry if man's unhappy god's unjust if man alone engross not heaven's high care alone made perfect here immortal there snatch from his hand the balance and the rod rejudge his justice be the god of god in pride in reasoning pride our error lies all quit their sphere and rush into the skies pride still is aiming at the blest abodes men would be angels angels would be gods 
aspiring to be gods if angels fell aspiring to be angels men rebel and who but wishes to invert the laws of order sins against the eternal cause ask for what end the heavenly bodies shine earth for whose use pride answers tis for mine for me kind nature wakes her genial power suckles each herb and spreads out every flower annual for me the grape the rose renew the juice nectarious and the balmy dew for me the mine a thousand treasures brings for me health gushes from a thousand springs seas roll to waft me suns to light me rise my footstool earth my canopy the skies but errs not nature from this gracious end from burning suns when livid deaths descend when earthquakes swallow or when tempests sweep towns to one grave whole nations to the deep no tis replied the first almighty cause acts not by partial but by general laws the exceptions few some change since all began and what created perfect why then man if the great end be human happiness then nature deviates and can man do less as much that end a constant course requires of showers and sunshine as of man's desires as much eternal springs and cloudless skies as men for ever temperate calm and wise if plagues or earthquakes break not heaven's design why then a borgia or a catiline who knows but he whose hand the lightning forms who heaves old ocean and who wings the storms pours fierce ambition in a caesar's mind or turns young ammon loose to scourge mankind from pride from pride our very reasoning springs account for moral as for natural things why charge we heaven in those in these acquit in both to reason right is to submit better for us perhaps it might appear were there all harmony all virtue here that never air or ocean felt the wind that never passion discomposed the mind but all subsists by elemental strife and passions are the elements of life the general order since the whole began is kept in nature and is kept in man what would this man now upward he will soar and little less than angel would be more now looking downwards just as grieved appears to want the strength of bulls the fur of bears made for his use all creatures if he call say what their use had he the powers of all nature to these without profusion kind the proper organs proper powers assigned each seeming want compensated of course here with degrees of swiftness there of force all in exact proportion to the state nothing to add and nothing to abate each beast each insect happy in its own is heaven unkind to man and man alone shall he alone whom rational we call be pleased with nothing if not blessed with all the bliss of man could pride that blessing find is not to act or think beyond mankind no powers of body or of soul to share but what his nature and his state can bear 
why has not man a microscopic eye for this plain reason man is not a fly say what the use where finer optics given to inspect a mite not comprehend the heaven or touch if tremblingly alive all o'er to smart and agonize at every pore or quick effluvia darting through the brain die of a rose in aromatic pain if nature thundered in his opening ears and stunned him with the music of the spheres how would he wish that heaven had left him still the whispering zephyr and the purling rill who finds not providence all good and wise alike in what it gives and what denies far as creation's ample range extends the scale of sensual mental powers ascends mark how it mounts to man's imperial race from the green myriads in the peopled grass what modes of sight betwixt each wide extreme the mole's dim curtain and the lynx's beam of smell the headlong lioness between and hound sagacious on the tainted green of hearing from the life that fills the flood to that which warbles through the vernal wood the spider's touch how exquisitely fine feels at each thread and lives along the line in the nice bee what sense so subtly true from poisonous herbs extracts the healing dew how instinct varies in the grovelling swine compared half reasoning elephant with thine twixt that and reason what a nice barrier forever separate yet forever near remembrance and reflection how allayed what thin partitions sense from thought divide and middle natures how they long to join yet never passed the insuperable line without this just gradation could they be subjected these to those or all to thee the powers of all subdued by thee alone is not thy reason all these powers in one see through this air this ocean and this earth all matter quick and bursting into birth above how high progressive life may go around how wide how deep extend below vast chain of being which from god began nature's ethereal human angel man beast bird fish insect what no eye can see no glass can reach from infinite to thee from thee to nothing on superior powers were we to press inferior might on ours or in the full creation leave a void where one step broken the great scales destroyed from nature's chain whatever link you strike tenth or ten thousandth breaks the chain alike and if each system in gradation roll alike essential to the amazing whole the least confusion but in one not all that system only but the whole must fall let earth unbalanced from her orbit fly planets and suns run lawless through the sky let ruling angels from their spheres be hurled being on being wrecked and world on world heaven's whole foundations to their centre nod and nature tremble to the throne of god all this dread order break for whom for thee vile worm o oh, madness pride impiety 
what if the foot ordained the dust to tread or hand to toil aspired to be the head what if the head the eye or ear repined to serve mere engines to the ruling mind just as absurd for any part to claim to be another in this general frame just as absurd to mourn the tasks or pains the great directing mind of all ordains all are but parts of one stupendous whole whose body nature is and god the soul that changed through all and yet in all the same great in the earth as in the ethereal frame warms in the sun refreshes in the breeze glows in the stars and blossoms in the trees lives through all life extends through all extent spreads undivided operates unspent breathes in our soul informs our mortal part as full as perfect in a hair as heart as full as perfect in vile man that mourns as the rapt seraph that adores and burns to him no high no low no great no small he fills he bounds connects and equals all cease then nor order imperfection name our proper bliss depends on what we blame know thy own point this kind this due degree of blindness weakness heaven bestows on thee submit in this or any other sphere secure to be as blessed as thou canst bear safe in the hand of one disposing power or in the natal or the mortal hour all nature is but art unknown to thee all chance direction which thou canst not see all discord harmony not understood all partial evil universal good and spite of pride in erring reason's spite one truth is clear whatever is is right end of epistle one recording by martin geeson in hazelmere surrey